Murphy. Wait, wait, who are you? Hi, I'm Henry. You're Henry? And where do you go to school, Henry? I just did great. You, at Orangeville. Orange, in, in Fair Oaks, California, ironically. It's yes. really not in Orangeville. Yes. Those of you who are new here. And um, my first question for you, you. Why are you interviewing me? Because I wonder how it was like in the Philippines for Christmas. Well, are you interviewing me just for fun or is this just an assignment? I was going to interview you for four, for fun. Okay, are you getting credit for this though? Um, yes. Okay. All right, so what questions do you have for me, Henry? Um, how is, um, let's start off with the basic question. How is it like in the Philippines? The Philippines. Oh, you mean when I was a little girl? For Christmas, yeah. What was, the, oh gosh. Well, I grew up, I was in third grade in the Philippines because my dad is a, still is, you know, some of these engineers, they never retire. Mm -hmm. They retire, but they still are engineers. My dad was a civil engineer mm -hmm. and he was helping the farmers there mm -hmm. with their irrigation with rice crops because that's what they eat there a lot. Mm -hmm. And so he says, I'm moving my family to the Philippines for three years so they can get to know a new culture. So we did. So I would move there, but we had Christmas there. And here's the thing with Christmas in the Philippines. You know, Christmas is well, kind of a religious holiday. Thank you. Don't mm -hmm. worry about that. And so, so they celebrate Christmas there, but they didn't celebrate Thanksgiving, which was confusing for me at the time. Anyway, so Christmas was a big deal to them because they're a big Catholic nation. So it's Jesus' birthday. So you know what they do with their birthdays? They use fireworks. So they would do fireworks for 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 Christmas, and sing songs. Let me teach. Let me sing a song for you. Let me sing a song for you. Ready? Right. You can look this one up too. See if I got the lyrics right. I only know part of it. It's called Ang Pasko ay Sumapit. So it goes, Ang Pasko ay Sumapit, Tayu ay Mapaksiawit. And it goes on and on. But I'm not gonna sing that. It's just embarrassing. But anyway, that's a famous Christmas song in the Philippines. And I can hum it for you, but it's really fun. And our, our maids, they would teach us lots of songs like that. So, Christmas in the Philippines, Santa found us anyway. It was really cool. He knew where we were. He knew where to find us. So, yeah. Since it's a religious holiday, it was the, you know, not, not that much more different. We still got gifts and stuff. Good to know. Next to know. question. Next question. Does Santa come in the Philippines, which you already answered? He does, but you know what? I'll bet you, I'll bet you he doesn't come in a sleigh. Oh. I'll bet you he comes in like a jeepney. Yeah. So a jeepney is like a jeep, mm -hmm. but it's like a bus, a little mini bus, and mm -hmm. it's super colorful on the outside. Mm -hmm. And since there's no air pollution codes in the Philippines in the in the late 70s, Jeepneys have black smoke that come right out the back. So great. So anyway, he probably rode a jeepney mm -hmm. and made it magic and, and up to the... And I bet you it was not pulled by reindeer, but by chickens. I would think. Chickens. Probably. Yeah. If I was using my best imagination. Yeah. And then shorts, because the Philippines is close to the equator, so it's not a cold place. So I'm sure Santa had some Santa shorts on there. Does that answer your question? Yes, that it does indeed. Okay, good. Question three. What type of Christmas music would you like to listen to? Ang Pasco Asuma Beat. You mean now? Like, um, what would you listen like to? Like today? In the Philippines. Oh, in the Philippines, yeah, like that. And then, you know, there was an the old fashioned kind of stuff too, right? Like, they would, they have their, they have, I had a girl in my class, her name was Doyet Ilagan. You can Google that. She was a TV star. In my class. Anyways, so she she sang too. So they sing uh, American songs. Mm -hmm. They sing with an accent. But they sing just like we do. You know, it's kind of cheesy, to be honest with you. Cheesy? Cheesy, like, you know, yeah. It was, it was cheesy. But we did sing the Christmas songs we sing. But a lot of them came from, like, um, the European songs we sing. Like, do you, ever, do you remember the song, Here we come a wassailing among the leaves so green? Here we come, a wandering so fair to be seen. Have you ever sang that before? No, but my mom probably has really? heard it. If, why would she know? Because she's heard like a million. She's hip. <laughs> yeah. She's got some street cred going on there. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we, we, we're pretty much traditional. Remember, Filipinos all speak English. 
Unless they live in the barrios, way out, you know, then they don't go to school. But if kids went to school, they spoke English. So, made it easy for me, right? Except for the playground when they spoke Tagalog. Okay, next. Uh, I'm getting off topic. I have to focus. Do people in the Philippines have a Santa hat? A Santa hats? Yeah. They, they do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do if they... I remember correctly, yeah. Yeah, but they would wear flip-flops with their Santa hats, though. I mean, you know, it's a weird <laughs> dichotomy, right? Mm, okay. It's kind of weird. But yeah, well, Santa, you know what? I'll tell you something. Don't tell anybody I told you this. It's kind of an industry. People make a lot of money. If they're going to sell a Santa hat and you'll buy it, they'll sell it. See what I'm saying? If they can make money off of it, mm, it's all good. It's not very spiritual. But yeah, they wore Santa hats. Just you know, It's not cold in the Philippines ever. 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 Next. Um, how do you say Merry Christmas in Tagalog? Oh, um, uh, God, you had to ask. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's Ang, ang Pasco. Ang Pasco? Yeah, in Ang Pasco. That's not Ang Pasco Sumapit. Uh, it, that's, that's Merry Christmas to you. That's what it's, what it's saying. No, but that's not the way you say it. I'm going to look it up. Because I, I knew the answer to that question. In fact, let me grab my phone. Because it'll be familiar to me. It is. Okay. Oh, God. What is it, though? I remember now, Henry. Yes. It's anyways. But the the, the thing about Christmas time in the Philippines, too, is the uh, my, my, my American uh, family members, mm -hmm. they would um, mail us things. To, uh, gifts. My grandmother mailed me some slippers mm -hmm. from America. But you know what she mailed? She mm -hmm. mailed them one at a time. Um, because she didn't think, because we had some things stolen on the way there, oh. our, our, all our Beatles albums were stolen. Mm -hmm. And so she didn't want our, her things to get stolen, so she mailed our slippers one at a time. Isn't that funny? I remember thinking, gee, that's kind of odd, but okay. Um, so, yeah. She, <laughs> A-L-O-G. Now I'm going to look it up. I'm going to say it. Maligayang Pasco. That's how you said. Maligayang Pasco. Do you think you can say it? I just said Maligayang Pasco. I said with the accent. Maligayang Pasco. What? Yeah. Maligayang Pasco. Salamato. That's thank you. So the next question is, what do you eat for Christmas dinner in the Philippines? I was going to say something inappropriate, and I'm not going to. <laughs> what is it? Um, well, they would make lots of lots of really good food. They did not make turkey there, though. So they would make just a lot of food. Filipinos are known for having big families, mm. so they would make a lot of food all at once. So the typical dishes they have there are like our pancit, which is kind of a noodle dish, but it's rice noodles, and they make a lot of it, and they'd have whatever vegetables available, they'd throw that in there, and then like a chicken or pork, whatever, and then rice. Uh, and then uh, they just all sorts of things. But they don't have a traditional Christmas meal like we do here. You know, like we would make a roast beef, for example. They don't do a lot of beef in the Philippines like we do here. And you know what they don't have what? over there? Obesity. Obi what? People there eat six small meals a day, and they eat a lot of rice. And so, and they're... they're um, they're small people, so a lot of folks in the Philippines are kind of, they, they not, I'm gonna say they're fit, because so many of the men smoke, but they're uh, they're just slight people, they're not very big. You come to America and you feel like, wow, folks are big here, because we have a sedate lifestyle and we, have, we tend to eat more processed foods than the Filipinos do, at least when I lived there. Could be different now. They could be putting on some weight too now, I don't know. Hope not. But, yeah, traditional food. Lots of fish. This is fun. You guys have fun? It's fun. Go ahead. Okay. You're doing good. You're doing great. I love what you've done. This This is a nice place. Do you get a Christmas tree? In the Philippines? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had a fake Christmas tree. It was this big. Because, um... They don't have pine trees in the Philippines. They have banana trees. <coughs> <laughs> the coconut trees in the backyard. They didn't have pine trees there. Mm. Different climate. Have I said that it's by the equator a couple times? Yeah. 
so they they the pine tree would would not do well a pine trees like cold dry environment so it's the opposite of the philippines the philippines is a humid warm environment yeah so yeah so so no no christmas tree per se but my grandma made this one i should i should i could find a picture of it it's a it's a, it was made out of fabric and mm -hmm. she stuffed it like a pillow, but it had like four or five sections to it, like a Christmas tree would mm -hmm. sitting on the table. And she used this green fabric that was peanuts, Charlie Brown, you know, <laughs> it's a funny looking Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. I will try to insert the picture here when we, when we edit this so you can see what it looks like. Okay. Uh, that wraps question up seven. Um, I have a question. Um, is it cold on Christmas in the Philippines? Which I already answered that. I would sweat when I wore a sweat. I when, when when I'd have to wear a raincoat to school because sometimes it rained. Mm -hmm. You wear a raincoat, you're like, going, it's really hot in here, but I'm getting wet. So you get wet on the inside and the outside. So it didn't make much sense to wear a raincoat. Yeah. But we did, you know, try to fit in with the 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 locals, mm -hmm. right? But no, it wasn't ever really very cold at all. So when I came back here, I became what we like to call a, uh, I mean, what's it called again? I became a, a wimp when it comes to cold. I went to college in Southern California where it's not that cold. And that was cold to me. See? Wimp. W-I-M-P. Why? I'm wimpy. Go ahead. <laughs> Next question. Um, do you have advent calendars? Hmm, that's a good question. Well, the Filipinos are a Catholic nation, so yes, they had Advent calendars, but they aren't the kind. Well, Trader Joe's hadn't been created yet. <laughs> that's where I get my Advent calendars is Trader Joe's, but they their Advent calendars were more the kind that you would use air, year after year, like mm -hmm. permanent ones, and they would just fill it with toys and things like that. I have an interesting fact for you though. A lot of the Filipinos households, and you can quote me on this if I'm wrong, if you're out there near Filipina. They would have a cabinet in their house that is full of things that you're not allowed to open. And there were gifts that were given to some of the kids, people living there. And they, like, if it was a nice gift and they, they wanted to preserve it, they put it in there. Like, when did you just get that for Christmas? Why don't you get out and play with it? Oh, hey, Dave, we don't do that. No, we'll break the, 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 the game. You don't you leave it there at the school. Well, why did why'd you get it then? It's in this, it's behind this, bla this, this glass case. All these toys in there? No, my, my, no, we can't do that. We leave it there. It's just too good. It's, we remember we, that, that, that somebody bought us something we liked. Yeah, but anyway, so that was weird. A lot of households have that in the mm -hmm. Philippines. There, it's, it's that's one. That's a kitschy thing about the Filipino. And in one final question: is, Do you ever get what you wanted for Christmas in the Philippines? Wow, that's a good question. Uh, I did. You know, my, uh, I gotta be careful here because I'm, I'm talking about eight, eight year olds. Uh, I did, and um, you know what I wanted? I'm gonna tell you something real quickly, Henry. Mm -hmm. And this will be about the last part. There was a picture hanging in my classroom. Mm -hmm. And I think this might have been the year or two, it was fourth grade. It was a picture of a meadow. So think of a grassy meadow, and it's a couple trees. And the Philippines didn't have a lot of grass because they're, it's, you know, but it reminded me of the States. Right, and then there's a few mountains in the background, and I remember staring at that picture because I longed for home. I wanted, I remembered what the United States was like, and I really wanted that again. I wanted, I missed home, you know. But I love the Philippines. It was one of those things. I was a very happy little girl, but I did miss the things that I was used to, and I used to pretend in my head that I was in that picture having a picnic. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Yeah, and so in that, in, in my picnic, I was not hot and sweaty. <laughs> I was having fun with my my my, fam my friends and my family in that picture, and I knew that when I got home, I was gonna go have a picnic, and that's one of the things I got to do when I got home. So you asked me the things I wanted. I didn't get to do that when I was there, but I remember that picture, and when I came home, I said, I wanna go have a picnic. My mom said, why, Heidi? I didn't ever tell her why, but I just, cause I thought she would think I was being silly. You know how we are, silly, but I did. I went and had a picnic. One of the first things I did when I got back to the United States was have a picnic outside in a meadow that had grass because in the Philippines didn't have that. But I always got what I wanted. I had, I had people in my life who loved me and I, I wasn't big on getting stuff. I was big on getting experiences. Did that help? 
Have you ever gotten anything you wanted for Christmas, Henry? Um, yes. I did ask for a Nintendo Switch last year, uh -huh. and I did get it. Get it? Yeah. Did you share it with people you care about? Play uh, with you? Uh, usually my mom and dad just play Mario Kart with me. That's good, though. That's what parent, good parenting 101. Look it up. That's good. Yeah. You'll probably do that someday, too. Well, that's it from us here. It's South Pole. Are we at South Pole? No, we're not, yeah. are we? We're not, are we? We're, no. we're fooling everybody for saying that because they can tell we're no. in Fair Oaks. So we told them that when we started this, didn't we? Yeah. We told them. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to be go okay. So that was fun. Thank you for uh, participating by listening. And Henry, the pleasure was mine. Don't make it.